Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how to change the color of your metal pieces. Um, here's a metal piece that I have in my stash. I've had it for quite a while. And basically it's a goldish color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a Tim Holtz alcohol ink for the first viewing for or rather for the first let me zoom in so you can see because it's kind of small all right there you go sorry about the unmanicured hands but these are hands that wash dishes a lot of dishes so like i said adirondacks alcohol inks this is stream which is like a bluish green color this is a gold goldish color and all you do is Add your alcohol ink and you can add it in parts you can put it all over you can do it however you want I am going to use a little makeup applicator because I don't want to get it all over my hands because then I will have blue slash green hands and you can just daub it in Actually, I'm wiping it off a bit, so we will go back to just putting the color on. Okay. I think we're just going to do half of it. Then what you would do is heat it up with your heating tool. I'm sorry about the noise, but here we go. You gotta be careful because um, alcohol, um, I guess we shouldn't heat because it can't ignite, so I'm not giving it too much heat. So, since I don't have another one, I only did I only did a portion of it. And if I let's see where let me focus. Um, if you look at, I don't know if you can see that, but half of it or rather these two petals are the only ones that are still the natural color while the other ones are a bluish green. I think you can see that better now. You see the difference? And it's dry now as you can see. My finger is not turning blue. And that is what you do to change the color. I mean you can use any color you want in your alcohol ink family. Now I'm also going to show you one other thing and this is in case you want to paint it. Maybe you don't want you don't want it to have that gold tone. Maybe you want to have it a different color. So you would take some gesso which I am adding if it can come out. Oh there we go. And there's some gesso and you would grab a paintbrush and I'm just grabbing any paintbrush right now and you can just paint over this kind of to make it um, think of it as being a a primer to get your surface ready and you wanna get it in you know little holes and all that stuff Next step would be obviously to dry and you can use heat gun if you want. Then you can take whatever medium you want. If you want to use um, 
gesso. I mean, if you want to use a, pe uh, a paint or if you want to use a, um, a Faber-Castell gelato, you can do that. And I think I am going to use a gelato, which I have already um, prepped to make into a spritz spray. I just have to kind of remember where I put them. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. So I took a raspberry color, and what I did was I took a, cut off a little piece. I melted it with my, um, what do you call it? Not melted it. I squished it up with my uh, palette um, utensil or whatever it's called. And I added a little bit of, al of rubbing alcohol. And if you look at it, I have now made my metal piece purple. Now I'm going to heat this up. Let's see if I can if I can get it in camera so that it's gonna make it a little darker. Okay. And I am going to just clean up my surface so I don't completely mess it up. Okay. And I am going to Ooh. Now this is getting, this is coming out really cool. The blue that we did earlier actually pops through my gelato and my alcohol and you're going to see how, doesn't that look cool? It looks very distressed right now and that's a surprise to me because I was not expecting that. But check that out. I guess an alcohol paint probably wouldn't work if you were trying to cover up, for example, my blue alcohol because the only colors that took purple are the ones that were, um, that only had the gesso. But I'm really digging that and I don't know if you can see that close up, how it did take a greenish, bluish hue and it's only on those three and a half flowers. Here's another one, another metal piece that I want to show you and it has it has um, in the middle of it there is a bling um, oh geez I forgot what it's called, it's not an eyelet, brad so I'm going to pull out the brad, you see it's two pieces, and I think we're just going to gesso this one, make it white, kind of hard to gesso these things because you, know, you don't want to get it on your fingers, but someone's got to do the dirty work. And again, we'll take the heat to it. If you look closely, it almost looks, let me just clean this off for you, it almost looks like one of those resin pieces that are in the boutique, um, which is pretty cool because now I went from a metal piece to a, a fake, a faux resin or a faux um, white. So instead of using the alcohol in, and I'm going to use a gelato, and this is in raspberry, and you can color it in if you want. I mean, it's a little harder, so you might want to just get as much as you can because it's very um, bumpy. And probably take a small brush and just dab it in, dab in the color. It actually works a little better to get it into those little nooks and crannies.
And as you see, it is now purple, which we can still add a little more to make it a little darker. If you wanted to do that, it helps if I open the, the lid. <laughs> so make it a little darker. And I guess I use purple because today is Valentine's Day and I don't know. I wasn't feeling in the pink or reds. So purple is close enough. All right, so there is my now purple metal piece. And um, I am guessing I'm going to use a little matte medium to seal in the color because I don't want it to rub off. And I'm looking for a clean brush. So here's a brush and I'm just going to rub in some matte medium which will dry clear. Heat it up with the and now I've gone from having a metal piece to having a purple piece. And I am going to find my tweezers so I don't so you can actually see what it looks like. It almost looks a little on the distressed. Um, it looks a little more whiter on this video than it actually does in person. Um, and if you wanted to add your silver piece back to make it pop a little bit, there it goes with your bling. So I just showed you how to do two different techniques. Um, I am really digging how that blue-green came out. It actually pushed up the color through the gesso and made it a lot more vibrant. So sometimes your mistakes turn out to be a work of art. I hope you enjoyed and have, a, have an awesome Valentine's Day.